Hello AMD Radeon 4000 series users, great news, today I'm going to show you how to fix the overscan underscan issue with Windows 10, that is there's a black border on the outside of the monitor, a bit of the screen that you can't use, well I'm going to show you how to reclaim that space and use all of your visible area. In order to get started, look in the video's description for a link to this helpful forum post, big thanks to the author, this is the solution here and it works for all the 4000 series cards with Windows 10. The first thing we're going to need to do is open up the registry. So you can go to your search contra thing here and type in reg edits. Now this will allow us to open up the registry. Once you've done that, click enter or click on the link. And here we are in the computer's registry. Now the first thing we're going to do is create a backup because you don't want to screw anything up in here. First off, go to file, export, and it'll save a backup in the default location of your document. So just call it whatever you want. I've already got a reg backup. Make a second one or first one if you need, but make sure you have one. Once you've got it, click save. Once our registry is all backed up, we're ready to go to the first step. Now we need to locate the file to modify. Now I'm just going to follow along in the post here. Here is the location that we need to currently find. So open up your registry. And we're going to go to local machine, system, current control set, control, and then video. You can also use the keyboard to quickly move around. There we have the video. Now once we're in this video section here, we're going to right click on video and we're going to go to finds. Now we need to type in our resolution at this point. So I'm doing 1920 times 1080. And this will quickly take us to the area we need to be. Here we are in the 000 folder. Now we have to find the correct entry. The author mentioned that he had to find this line. You'll be finding whatever line corresponds with your registry. So basically you want to look for this first bit here and correspond that with your resolution refresh rate. Scroll down in the list here. So you can expand this a little to make it a little easier. That one makes it a little clearer there. And here we are with the resolutions. Now the two most common resolutions are going to be 1920 by 1080 with 60 hertz or 59 hertz. Now this generally depends on what kind of monitor you're using. I'm doing this on an older plasma television so I'm actually doing a 29 and 30 hertz but we'll do uh, the 60 hertz just to show you how it works. Now once you've found the entry, you'll need to modify it. So find it, select it, right click on it, and go to modify. Now here's one by default. Simply go in, backspace any entry that has a number, one backspace, and then replace it with a zero. Hit zero once. So do this for any entry here that has any numbers and just change it to zeros. Once more over here. And that's it. Once we're done in any of the profiles, we click OK and it'll be completed and it'll be ready to go. So now that we've successfully edited our registry, we're going to go apply the settings. Now go back to your desktop, right click on the empty space and go to display settings. Scroll down to Advanced Display Settings and click on it. Then scroll down to Display Adapter Properties here at the bottom of this next menu. Click on that. And you may need to minimize this. And here, under the second tab, Monitor, we can change the refresh rate that we're currently using for the monitor. Now you'll note that I've already modified some. Now a regular monitor is really 59 to 60 hertz, but this is an older plasma, so it's only 29 to 30. Note that you may need to switch your profiles back and forth before it takes effect. Now if this doesn't work, try rebooting just to make sure it all works out properly for you. If it doesn't display properly, there's any kind of error, you can simply go back into the registry, go to File, Import, and then load up your backup by clicking open. So if you have any issues, if this screws it up, makes it worse, just go to your backup and restore that. Anyways, this worked perfectly well for me on several monitors I was using. They're all home theater PC systems. I hope this fixes your problem for you. Please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody.